Hi, so we had a request from uh, the forums to show how to add like a quick fleck map to some car paint. So the first thing you want to do is of course bring your vehicle into your level. Uh, as I've done here on the basic level, I just have a car vehicle that I've brought in here. Uh, all the materials are set up and I just have a simple gray paint job on it. So this material that I have is called sheet metal. And if I open this up in the shader graph, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add an extra multiply map over the color map. So if you can see here under our standard base, I have a base color. This node's going to come out into a multiply, which is going to go from our standard materials color switch here, which adds a color map. And I'm going to add a new one called fleck map switch. It's exactly the same as this color map switch. So you can just copy and paste that. Then out of there, I'm going to multiply this fleck map, which is another material slot or texture slot here, uh, with a material variable called fleck intensity, and that's a scalar. And that's just going to multiply how much this uh, texture comes in. And then I have my little checkbox here for use fleck map, which will show up in the material. So if we go back to just the standard material here on the right side, you can see that. I have color map, normal map, metallic map, roughness, emissive, and down here I have use fleck map as my checkbox. So if I turn that on, this fleck map that I've added down here at the bottom and the fleck intensity then become active. So basically all I've done is just added this extra map called flex. So if I go into Photoshop, you can see this is just a large texture that I've used and if you zoom in. It's just got little flecks in it. Now you can make this however you want. You could add it to your uh, reflective and your gloss map. You could. There's lots of different ways you could do this, but this is just a quick and dirty way how to add a, an extra layer of color map with some little flecks in it that you can control. So I export that, that texture out and I put it into my scene and then I add it to my material. So now if we go to my car, we look at the hood, it's just got a nice little gray kind of sheen to it. So if I go to my material that's assigned there, which is the sheet metal, and I check use fleck map, you can see that that white fleck map just kind of showed up on my material here, which is good, but that's not really what we wanted it to look like. So now that we're going to have that, we're going to come down here. I'm just going to set my fleck intensity to one, which is just multiplied by one. And I'm going to change the color, the base color of my uh, vehicle to get the uh, desired effect. So I kind of want a darker vehicle, maybe a dark green or red. Let's go with a, a nice dark red kind of color. So now I've got this dark red color. As you can see from a distance, everything looks pretty cool. It's all reflective. I've got pretty nice properties on it here. But as you get up close, you can see that my little flecks now are in my paint. And again, if you want to add these to your uh, gloss map, you can have them do uh, reflections and, and be a little bit shinier. You can do different colors in your, in your material, however you'd like to set that up with your own personal textures. So once you have that set up, you can also adjust the roughness if you want uh, and the metallic. So right now my metallic's at 0.68, but if I bump that up, you can see my car is going to get a lot more metallic there. I don't want it quite too metallic, or if I bring it down, it's going to get a little more faded. So is that 6, 8? So if we bring it up to like 7 or 7.6. And then you have your roughness here, which is your glossiness. And that's at very low. So if I bring that up, you can see how it kind of fades out. Now we get this kind of matte look on our vehicle. And the specs are still in there as well. And the more you bring that roughness back down, the more shiny your paint becomes. And it's up to you again how, uh, how shiny you'd like it to be. You can see our little specks are in our paint there. And we've got a pretty nice little reflection going on. So if we fly around this vehicle, it's very shiny, very metallic, very red and race car looking, which is sort of the effect that we're going for. Once you have that in your scene in the way that you want it, if you have a reflection probe like we do up here, you can see my vehicle was white before. You can go to window, lighting, bake reflection probes. And you can see now that's updated to red up here in my reflection probe, which is what my vehicle was. Now my reflections are going to reflect the, the proper colors. You can see in our mirror here, we're actually reflecting 
the side of the vehicle as the proper color. So that's just a quick down and dirty way. So let's, uh, to add some fleck maps, let's look at our shader graph one more time. Out of the base color, we've created a multiply that will go through the color map switch and a new fleck map switch that we've added here. We're gonna use the fleck map and we added this fleck intensity. You could also, if you wanted to, you could multiply times the texture coordinate to tile that fleck map. That way, when you are on your vehicle, if your flex are too big or too small, you can change them to whatever you'd like. Hopefully that answers your uh, question there on the forums. A really quick and easy way to add a little fleck map to your vehicle and uh, have it show up properly and look pretty cool. Thanks and look forward to more tutorials.